most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having when we sit in the early morning hours there's not as much traffic and there's not as many people making as much noise but the truth is we always have to be careful of who is listening the people who are listening are listening are often the ones who want to be soliciting and lying about people's lives they think they have rights to do things to people monstrously when they're sleeping in the night and that is immoral you see immorality is something that people see as subjective but it's really not in the house of god in the house of god there are many rooms and god makes a lot of people and a quite a bit of variety of people the problem is that the variety of people don't remember who god is today and the proper problem is that many of them like to play as if it's a video game world that any person any human being is a part of their game to play with to investigate to interrogate not at all to be rude with I'm finding that a pair of pants I just recently bought has been totally painted brown by someone. Isn't it interesting that a maintenance company is the one that keeps sort of lingering around my life, harassing me when I sit and wait for a shop to open, and openly they never stop. It's also interesting that I woke up and found that my pants were not the same ones that I had purchased. And that makes me very upset because what that means is some monstrous person has programmed me to sleep so deeply that I cannot wake when someone is touching me. That is an immoral act that is a liability to that person's life who did that. They have literally created a situation where men and women can abuse someone, and they all think it's a funny game to do that. It is an immorality in society for us to have that capability or, or that notoriety in someone's life. And openly, it's just not right. If you want to do something for someone today, don't mock them in any way. Make sure you are very forthright, make sure you're very upright, and make sure that Jesus will be pleased when he comes to take you in the night. The reaper may not exactly be Jesus, but I promise you, you'll be standing before the Lord's house at some point in your life, whether you believe in God or not. And in those moments of time, you're going to have to be paying attention to what is right and what is wrong in that moment of time, not at all in the, throughout your entire lifetime. Did you break one of the Lord's commandments? Did you commit adultery? Did you do things inappropriately? Did you actually lie, steal, and cheat someone out of their property? Did you interfere with someone's lawful rights to get married? Did you destroy someone's medical records and personal privacy rights by your gossip? And have you abused someone's life to the point that you are so dumb about how abuse can happen today that you don't realize that you've aided and abetted an actual rape?